Are ribbon-like stools a common symptom of IBS? Hello, dear viewers. Today we're going to tackle a common question that arises when dealing with irritable bowel syndrome or IBS. Are ribbon-like stools a common symptom of IBS? We will break this down into smaller parts, exploring what IBS is, what ribbon-like stools are, and how they may be connected. What is IBS? IBS, or irritable bowel syndrome, is a chronic condition that affects the large intestine and can lead to a variety of symptoms. Common symptoms include cramping, abdominal pain, bloating, gas, and diarrhea or constipation, or both. However, these symptoms vary from person to person, and the severity can fluctuate over time. What are ribbon-like stools? Ribbon-like stools are stools that are narrower and flatter than usual. This can sometimes be a sign of a change in the colon or rectum. It's important to note that occasional changes in stool size and shape are generally not a cause for concern, but persistent changes should be discussed with a healthcare provider. Are ribbon-like stools a common symptom of IBS? It's a misconception to assume that ribbon-like stools are a standard symptom of IBS. While IBS can lead to changes in bowel habits and stool consistency, typically between diarrhea and constipation, it does not commonly cause a significant change in stool shape to the extent of producing ribbon-like stools. However, this doesn't mean it can't happen, but it's not usually listed as a primary symptom of IBS. If you are experiencing consistent changes in your stool such as ribbon-like stools, it is important to seek medical advice as it can be a symptom of other conditions. In conclusion, while IBS can certainly cause a variety of symptoms related to bowel habits, ribbon-like stools are not typically a common symptom of IBS. This being said, any persistent change in your bowel habits, including the shape of your stool, should be discussed with a healthcare provider. It's always better to err on the side of caution when it comes to your health. Thanks for joining us in this discussion and we hope you found it helpful.